A nonprofit called Meter ran a randomized control trial with 16 developers who each tackled issues in code bases they've maintained for years. They split up 246 tasks, about two hours apiece, into AI allowed and AI disallowed groups. When AI was allowed, developers used any tools they preferred, primarily Cursor Pro, powered by Claude models, and recorded their screens while self reporting task times. In the disallowed condition, they could coded unaided. When AI was allowed, devs took 19% longer than when they went solo, but they expected a 24% speed up, and afterwards, they still thought they were 20% faster. Something to note, less than half of the AI-generated code snippets were merge ready. They needed manual refinement, and roughly one-tenth of the coding sessions was spent fixing AI outputs rather than writing code. And the implications of this study is huge. It challenged the assumption that AI coding tools are universally productivity enhancing for all developers and scenarios. You may look at this study and say, you see, developing old school is still superior, and this certainly doesn't help the argument of vibe coding ruining developers, but the study actually highlights the need for domain specific fine tuning and improved suggestion precision and interface designs that minimize review times. Also, organizations should measure the impact impact of AI tooling for their use case rather than relying solely on benchmarks or vendor claims. I'm a developer myself, and as much as AI has been frustrating to correct prompts, it has helped me immeasurably. I work on a lot of code bases, which I think is a strength of AI tools for onboarding, but please let me know your experience or opinions on this.